We, honey, we did it. You're, you're coming home. You're coming home. What? You're free on bail. You're free on bail until your case is Rick, reviewed. Abby. I, I can't, I can't leave now. What, what, what are you talking about? Why not? Why? Uh, Abby, what are you talking about? Don't, don't do this. Don't play games with I, me. Why I can't made you a promise to Selena. I, I told her I would do something. Fine. Do that after you come home. No, I can't. I have to Honey, stay this here. Isn't, this isn't funny, okay? Let's stop playing these games. I'm not trying to be funny. Please, Rick, you have to trust me just for one more night. Ross. Oh, good morning, ma'am. Hi. Uh, you sounded so urgent on the phone. I hope it's not bad news. No, it is not bad news. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Tell me, tell me. Well, Ben is going to recommend a suspended sentence, which means if you plead guilty to involuntary manslaughter, we're talking about probation. Oh, thank God. No, no, no don't get me wrong now. This is not a done deal. But not by any means. If the DA recommends it, then... Well, the district attorney has power, but he's not God. Plus the fact that helping anybody is totally out of character for my brother. You have any idea why he's trying to help you here? There's no reason to ask that, Ross. I'd be happy to explain it myself. As requested, one double cheese pizza. Yay! I am in love. With me or the pizza? That's a tough question to ask a starving woman. That's nice. Can't even beat a pizza. <laughs> I'm pathetic. sorry, but I am so hungry. I can't believe you eat this for breakfast. Every chance I get. Mm, you're a little different, you know that? I take it you mean that in a good way. Mm. Here, have a bite. No, no, thank you. Come on! No, I'll pass. Oh, that's right. You'd eat something like crumpets and marmalade for breakfast. Isn't that a spoiling? Breakfast. I could see if Jenna left some behind. She might have. If I take a piece of pizza, will you be quiet? Yes. Pretend it's a crib. Mm. Okay. Oh, excuse me. What? What are you doing? Getting ready to eat the pizza. No, I mean sitting here. Do you want me to stand? By the computer. I thought we were working. No, we are not working. You work at Spalding. Are we going to have this conversation again? Yes, because you don't remember the conversation. I work alone, at least while Jen is away. Well, okay, let me... You, you don't seem to remember. I was the one that helped you get the file out of the police station in the first place. Okay, as long as we're bringing up reminders. You were the one who suggested we go to Frank, that we ask him. We be direct. We ask him to show us the file, which got us absolutely nowhere. Well, that was your fault. And I had to take action. Yeah, you got us locked in the stairwell. That was For a little action. while, we got out. By blind luck, we got out. Was it the worst thing you've ever been through? It was horrible. I hated it. It was the worst thing I've ever been through, too. It was just terrible. We should never do that again. Never. No. no. So did you like it? Very much. Not me. Pizza for breakfast. I think I could get used to it. What? Stop! Is who? Is who in here? Reva. Who else? No, she's not. I haven't seen her. I haven't seen her since the day that you told me to stay away from it. And for that matter, you know, I'd like you to stay away from Michael, me too. So, Mike, Michael, you. Michael, she's missing. Where did she go? If I knew that, I wouldn't be here. Come on in. Thank you. What happened? I don't know. I was up in the bedroom, and I heard the, uh, the, the, the car's engine gunning, and by the time I got down there, it was gone. Reva can't drive. What, do you think that a little detail like that is going to stop her? So did you try to follow her? Yeah, I, I tried, but by the time I got down there and got around the corner, she'd already... She, the, it was just gone, Michael. The car was gone. Did the two of you have a fight? No, what? no. It, she was a little edgy last night, a little edgy this morning, but we were fine. Josh, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, well, th th this is something else that doesn't make sense. What? It's a ring. This I don't... is Reva's wedding band. We weren't legally married, but she wore it all the time. I don't get it. Michael, I found it on the floor of my bedroom. What, what are you saying? This is the ring Reva was wearing when Annie abducted her from my office that day. You cannot. I would give anything, everything that I have for Reva to be alive. I, I know it's not possible, but Michael, I couldn't help but think 
the, the, when I found this, that Reva was trying to contact me in some way, some, you know, send me a, a message of... Josh, you know kind. what the Coast Guard said. Yes, I know. They said there was no way anybody could possibly have survived that, that kind of a crash, but the question remains, how did this ring end up on the floor of my bedroom? I don't know. I don't know, maybe she dropped it on the morning of the day that she was abducted. Yeah, did you see it on her finger that morning? I don't know. I didn't exactly examine her hand that day. I don't know what to think anymore. Maybe our Reva found it before you did, and it reminded her of the real Reva, and that's why she took you know, off. Well, we could maybe this thing to death, but the fact is she never took this ring off her finger. She wore it cleaning. She wore it painting. I used to say to her, take it off. You're gonna, it, it's going to get ruined, but she wouldn't do it. She didn't want to do that. The only way anybody could ever get this ring off of her finger is if she, she were... Oh, my God. What? Annie. It had to be. It had to be any. Wasn't that a wild ride? Who said I couldn't drive? You're a real ace. You nearly got us both killed. But I didn't. Not for lack of trying. Bud said you were. Don't call him that. You do. You're not me. He said you were a real da daredevil. Not afraid of anything. Turns out you're just a big chicken. Okay, if we're through with the character analysis, would you mind telling me where we are? In the basement of the lighthouse. Joshua pointed this place out to me when we were on the beach one night, and I came back and checked it out, and that's when I found this cellar space. I don't think anybody else knows it's here. Joshua said the walls are three feet thick. So go ahead, scream! <laughs> Nobody will ever hear you. This, this is ridiculous. We should be in my car and halfway home by now. It's really hard to explain. Oh. Abby, please give me a shot. What things are just not the same in here as they are on the outside. You make connection much quicker. And it's important who your friends are because they keep you safe. What are you safe? What are you talking about? Safe is getting out of this hellhole and coming home with me. But I can't think just about myself right now, OK? Is this about this? woman you introduced me to. She is my friend. I am your husband. I know you are. I know that. But she has been a, a godsend to me. Selena has taught me the ropes, and, and she has defended me when I needed help. All right, that's fine. But that doesn't mean you need to stay in this hellhole, Abby. Come on. What are you talking about here? I'm telling you, Rick, that I have made a promise to her, and I can't run out on her now. What are you two up to, Abby? I can't tell you. I need an explanation. I deserve an explanation. I'm sorry, I can't. All right, what do I have to do? Do I have to talk to the guard about this? No, no, Rick, don't do that. For someone who wanted to talk, you're awful quiet. I'm sorry, I, um... I just don't know exactly how to say this. Are you mad at me or something? No, not really. Come on, Michelle, just say what you need to say. Since I've been back in Springfield, I've been feeling sort of crowded. I mean? Well, yeah. Maybe crowded isn't the right word. It doesn't matter what word you use. I understand what you mean. You were gone for a long time. I just wanted to make up for lost time. Well, I want that, too. But does that mean we have to do it in one week? I, I mean, you've been sort of hovering over me, and I haven't been able to see anyone else, like my family and my friends. Look, I'm sorry I'm taking up all your time. Don't be mad at me. I would say that you're the one that's mad at me. I told you I wasn't. <laughs> 